Hi, welcome to this edition of How To Q. My name is Quinn, I do DIY all the time. I'm going to install this wireless dimmer switch throughout the episode. I'm gonna show you how I installed it, how I hooked it up to the phone, and why I chose this one specifically. So let's get started. Okay, here's what comes with the kit. I'll get into more of that later, but this is just a big picture of what comes with it. There is the light switch specifically, actually really well marked for ease of install. All right, I recommend scoring around the faceplate when you're about to remove it. You could pull some paint off if you don't do this. Take the, the flathead screwdriver or your dip drill, unscrew those screws. All right, now that I've taken off, I'm gonna go turn off the circuit breaker before I even touch this. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, go turn off that circuit breaker with the dual gang box. You may need to actually turn two circuit breakers off if those switches are on two separate circuits. By the way, this old dimmer switch I'm pulling out is $27, Lutron, one of the most popular ones in the country. If you get the Wi-Fi version of this, it's almost $60. So the one, and the one I'm using is only $20, a serious savings. All right, now when you pull that switch out, you've got all these wires. Make sure you take a picture so you have something to reference during this job in case you have to put it back together. Okay, if you have a single pole or one switch controlling the light, then this is what you've got. You've got a ground, you've got a live wire, which is your hot wire, a load wire, which goes to the light. And then the, if you have a three-way switch, two switches operating light, that would be connected. All right, that's what's so nice about taking a picture. You can literally plug and play this new Wi-Fi switch. The only big addition is that neutral wire. You do need a neutral wire when plugging in this switch. Okay, now we just turn, take off the uh, wire nuts from that old dimmer switch, rearrange the wires. I'm gonna pull out the neutral wire from the back, turn back on the power, just so I can figure out which one is the live wire. This is where that non-contact voltage tester is huge. That red is indicating that that is the live wire. And before I turn back off the circuit breaker, I'm gonna go ahead and mark that. Usually you can use electrician's tape or something. You don't have to do this, but <laughs> it makes it less confusing when you come back. All right, now turn that circuit breaker back off. Use your non-contact voltage tester to make sure the power is indeed off. I went ahead and stripped the wires a little bit more than they came with the switch. As a refresher, here are the wires that come with the switch and now it's just plug and play. Ground goes to the bare wire. You've got the red wire that goes to the load wire. The live wire goes to the black and then you hook up that neutral and you are done. I'm doing this fast. You can slow it down if you want, but again, it's pretty easy. All right, after you shove those wires back in, you can attach the switch to the wall again. Uh, just make sure you don't go crazy with that drill. You could easily break this. Turn back on the circuit breaker and come back and hopefully you see this little light, which I see now. Put those screws back in and the install of the switch is done. Uh, you can test it out. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna zoom through a lot of this, but I tested it out. The dim works, the on off works. Add it to your phone, my, my system actually recognized it. That Smart Light Life app is super easy to use. You can add it to Alexa, you can add it to Google Home, and this install is done. I think the very first project I did was a dimmer switch and that kind of got me started. <laughs> so simplify your life. These are a no-brainer. They're cheaper than regular dimmers. They're definitely cheaper than a Wi-Fi Lutron cassette. These are only 20 bucks. Those are like 60 bucks. Obviously, I use this because I want to simplify my life. I have one app that operates all the switches in my house. Not only that, but the plugs. They've also got extension cords, USB ports that you can time to be on and off. It's a great security feature also. If you learned something, press like. I would love for you to consider subscribing, make any comments. I respond as quickly as I can. That's it for this edition of How To Q. We'll see you next time.